This video is specially about how to crack clinical SAS interview in 2025. So you should begin with the learning skills. So you should ensure that you must learn base SAS, advanced SAS, clinical SAS. In clinical SAS, you should must know about the documents, protocols, SAP, mock shell, CDISC guidelines about the SDM IG, about the ADAM IG. Okay, just go through all the documents and then projects. Work on some projects like create some SDM data set, SDM, ADAM, table, listings. And not only uh, create these data sets and reports, also get an idea about on which study you are working. Read the protocol. What are the primary and secondary objective of the trial? Read all the information, the major information from the protocol and SAP document. Must go through these two documents before jumping on SDM item table listing. Most of us directly we go to creating SDM item table listing. Either we don't have the access of protocol and SAP or if we have, we don't focus on that, but it is very much important. Once we move forward, you should must solve 150 or 100 questions be because before jumping for interviews or you know getting interviews or giving interviews if you solve 150 questions it's gonna give you enough confidence in the interview the one which we have discussed now these were must you should learn before applying for interview what is something that will help you to boost your interview so that is learning R and doing base certification if you do these two things, if you learn R and do basis certification, so that will give you an extra edge in the interview. Your chances of getting interviews, cracking interviews. On top of that, we have created broadcast with working professionals, students. So from fresher to journey of getting this job, we have created some videos. We'll give you the link in the iCards and video description you can check. Also, we have created a playlist for interview pattern. For 5-6 companies, we have decoded their pa pattern. That how many rounds they take, uh, most probably what questions they ask, who gonna take the particular round. So you can go and check that playlist. And uh, there are many things, but I'll not bombard this video with a lot of things. We'll keep it simple and neat. Before moving forward, let me tell you one thing. On 8th of September, we are starting a new batch for clinical SAS training. Already we have announced, but this is the final announcement I'm doing today. So if you want to join that batch on 8th of September, you can connect us on 8733986003 on this number. We have recently started a new service where we give technical support for statistical programmer and biostat role. So either you are fresher or working professional, if you need any technical support on any of the projects, SAS or SDM Adam table listing, any support, technical support uh, you want, you can take from us uh, for half hour, for one hour, uh, for 1.5 hours or two hours, up to so on. The charges will be as per the hours and uh, you can check in the video description. There is a link for technical support, top mid link. Yeah, because we got a lot of inquiries for technical support from uh, multiple people. Let's suppose how a fresher need technical support. So sometimes what happen a fresher is doing self preparation. He is learning by self from some training institute he have learned and then he needs some technical support so we have an in-house team of statistical programmer and biostatistician okay so few people are there who are in our team and they have good experience on statistical programmer and biostat role so if someone needs that support either a fresher or either a working professional you can avail that service as well and you can check the link in the description how to avail that service that's all. Thank you everyone and bye-bye everyone.